Hi, everybody. Hello. It's time for a mid-July episode. <laughs> cool. <laughs> I didn't put any uh, stuff in my hair. Did I? Up to you. You look good, and I look like a hobo. <laughs> I'm gonna go do it. Okay, great. <laughs> this time we would like to discuss a very controversial topic, and that topic is lending and why you shouldn't lend money to anybody. Instead, you should think not about lending money, but about giving money. There's a subtle difference, but we'll explain what that is. Giving money is obviously a little bit different from lending money because the expectation is, is that that money is never going to make its way back to you. As an example of why this is such a big distinction, just want you guys to think about if there's anybody that you know, two people that maybe owe one person owes another person some money and how strained that relationship can be. There are people that I know that owe each other money and those have led to money fights in which those people no longer even speak to each other anymore. When you're loaning money to a friend, it's obviously not the same as a loan from a bank. And so while there could be some unspoken expectations when you're exchanging money between friends, you're probably not writing it down. And so people just might have differences of, okay, this is when I expect to get the money back, or I expect you, if you can't afford it all at one time, to pay it back slowly. And that can cause those disagreements. So instead of risking those relationships over something like money, why don't you just change your mindset into thinking about lending money now as a gift in which you don't receive anything in return for? And we're gonna talk a little bit about how we do that in our lives and how it might be something that's pretty easy for you to implement in yours as well. We have a line item in our budget that is for giving. This includes things that are regular recurring donations like our tithes, donations to organizations that we support monthly, but we also leave a good amount of money in there that's not for a specific cause. If we have friends or family who need something at a certain time, that's there so we can just give them a gift. We don't expect anything in return. If we happen to get something back, if they do pay us back, we put it directly back into that fund. So we never expect to get it. We're never expecting to use that money to pay for other expenses. It just goes right back into the giving fund. That money is essentially it's on our budget, but it's not our money. We never we will never spend that money for things for ourselves. That's some of the money we set aside every month to take care of others. All right. So now you understand the fundamental shift from lending into giving. We want to talk about some of the scenarios that you might encounter as you start giving money away. So if you have a friend who you're trying to help out and you tell them that they can have some money and it's a gift and you're not expecting anything in return, that person might turn around and say, well, no, I'm gonna pay you back. And that's 100% okay. You have to be comfortable with the fact that even though they said that they're going to pay you back, there's still a chance that they might not be able to. And if it is okay and you're still okay with not being paid back, then you can continue to make that gift to that person. It's also your responsibility as the giver to make it clear to the person that you are not going to hold any grudges against them if they cannot pay you back for whatever that reason might be. Another scenario in this sort of situation, this difference, is that when you give somebody that money, it is a gift and that's kind of where it ends. So if they're taking your money, which isn't yours anymore, and spending it in a way that you don't think meets your expectations, isn't the way that you would have spent it, you don't have the right to judge how they're spending it anymore. So as the giver, you have the ultimate rights to set your boundaries where you think that they should be. If somebody asks you for money and you now being a giver rather than a lender decides you're trying to decide if you're going to lend this person money or not, if you don't believe that they're going to use the money for things that are good for themselves, uh, I think we all probably know somebody like that in our lives. It's OK to say no. And you have to be willing to say no, because really the reason you're saying no is because you want to protect that person. Another time that you need to be willing to say no is if you simply can't afford to give someone that money anyway. So you might really want to help and maybe your budget is too tight to do so. So you want to lend it instead. Take a step back, simply tell them, hey, I don't have the funds to do this right now and maybe help them try to get the that money in some other way. Not by loans, however. 
To add on to that, if you can't afford to lose that money forever, then you can't afford to give that money in the first place. There are other situations where somebody might ask you to lend them some money, and that's just like a few dollars. Maybe you forgot your wallet and you guys are out to lunch and you need to pay for your sandwich. I think that can be treated a little bit differently than what we've talked about up until now. If you need to loan somebody 20 bucks to pay for their lunch, that's fine. And there are really simple ways to pay that back. I mean, we use Venmo, PayPal, things like that, where you can just do it immediately or trade. Like you bought the sandwiches, next time you get together, the other person pays. That's not what we're talking about here. Yeah, if those little dollar amounts matter to you, then I would say just make a deal on the spot. Hey, I'll buy you a sandwich if you buy me a drink later. Something like that. So to sum up, there is absolutely no problem, and we would encourage helping out your friends and family if they need it. But what we should do is change our mindset and think of those opportunities as a gift rather than a loan that you expect to get back. Yeah, you don't want to risk losing family or friends over something like money. It's just not worth it. So let us know what you think. If you disagree with any of this or if there are any exceptions that you can think about, we'd be glad to hear it and discuss with you. And if not, we just hope that this is helpful, a new way to think about um, giving versus lending out money. Cool. All right. Well, we'll see you guys <laughs> <Cool>. <laughs> in August. Whoa. All right. Bye. Bye. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. We put out videos on the 1st and 15th of every month. So if you enjoy it, make sure you subscribe and tell others. Today's topic, we want to talk to you guys about lending money and why you shouldn't do it. <laughs> in an effort to help you with your relationships whether they are <laughs> intimate <laughs> whether they're intimate or platonic <laughs> no